Happy Friday, Forsyth. This is Beverly Adams, your A&R program assistant for the UGA Extension Office here in Forsyth County with my beneficial insect of the week, the house centipede. The house centipede adult has 15 pairs of legs with the last pair, um, which are only adult, adult females, nearly twice the length of the body, um, one to one and one half inches in length. This gives the centipede an overall appearance of being from three to four inches in length, including the legs and the antenna. The legs are banded light and dark, and the body is a dirty yellow with three longitudinal dark stripes. Newly hatched larvae, which are rarely ever seen, have four pairs of legs. And during the next five larval molts, the centipedes will have five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen pairs of legs. On the next molt, the centipede is considered an adolescent and will have 15 legs during each of the next four molts when it becomes an adult. To the right, you will see um, a younger larva of the house centipede on the first picture on the left, and then to the right, that's an adult. There are six um, larval instars or molts and four post larval instars before the centipedes reach maturity. The females have been known to survive for several years and produce numerous offspring, a maximum of 150. During the daytime, the centipedes inhabit dark, damp locations in the home and they come out at night to forage for prey. House centipedes feed on silverfish, fire brats, carpet beetle larvae, cockroaches, spiders, and other small anthropods. If house centipedes are seen frequently, this indicates that some prey anthropod is in abundance and may signify a greater problem than the presence of the centipedes. Locations within the structures that have been known to provide safe harborage for house centipedes include beneath concrete slabs, the centipedes enter the house through expansion cracks around sump pump um, openings or other breaks in the slab integrity. Inside cement block walls, the centipedes can enter through uncapped blocks missing mortar between blocks and around pipes where they pass through the walls. In floor drains without water traps, especially those drains that are connected to dry pump, um, sumps. Under and in cardboard boxes that are stored on slabs. In any damp, cool locations such as unexcavated areas like crawl spaces under the house. So to the left, you'll see a photo of a house centipede with the rear antenna and the head with the antenna. For control, you, you'll want to modify the habitat. Reduction in the centipede food source is the first step in managing a house centipede population. Determine what other types of anthropods in your house are providing a meal for the centipedes by distributing, um, you can use sticky insect traps, also um, called monitors around the home. These monitors can be obtained through a pest control company or you can buy them at a local big box store. Harborage reduction is the second most important management tactic, close with appropriate fillers, um, cracks and crevices and concrete slabs and block walls. Seal the covers to sump pumps with screen and caulk. Install window screen in the basement floor drains to prevent centipedes from entering from dry sumps. Also reduce the humidity by utilizing dehumidifiers. Grade the soil around the building to facilitate water movement away from the foundation. Why is this um, centipede beneficial? Well, these fast moving centipedes are active predators that hunt for things such as crickets, spiders, pill bugs, and other small creatures that live in dark secluded areas. Like all centipedes, house centipedes have venomous fangs that they use to paralyze their prey upon capture. House centipedes are sometimes eaten by larger anthropod predators such as wolf spiders and other centipedes and by insectivorous mammals such as the short tailed shrew. House centipedes feed on small terrestrial anthropods, including crickets, cockroaches, spiders, millipedes, and pill bugs. The house centipede is active at night, moving about in search of cockroaches and other insects. House centipedes rarely bite, are seldom dangerous, and are beneficial because they destroy other insects. Most people have an aversion to their presence inside their homes. And of course, in the middle of the night, when you get up and see this thing scurrying, it can move really fast across the floor. It does scare you there for a moment, but they are good, good insects to have around. So that is my beneficial insect of the week, the house centipede. I'm Beverly Adams, the Forsyth County Extension Office A&R Program Assistant. 
This is our contact information. If you have any further questions or um, need anything identified, please reach out to us. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will be back next week with my disease of the week.